This fourth video dedicated to the Tudor dynasty is centered on the um, great figure of Elizabeth I, uh, the Queen. She came to the throne in 1558 at the death of her sister Mary I, and uh, her reign lasted for a very long time, 45 years. It was also considered as one of the most fascinating of English history, mainly because of the eclectic personality of the Queen, and it is also known as the Elizabethan Age, in particular regarding literature. In fact, it was during her time the drama flourished thanks to the works of uh, William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe. She was very clever in uh, taking advantage of the benefits that could come to her through uh, the use of symbolism and propaganda. And that is why, during her time, she commissioned a great number of portraits featuring her as a, a stately and a majestic monarch in charge of a um, powerful and, um, and luxurious uh, uh, reign. Um, that is why she took great care in choosing her attire for the portraits and uh, most of them um, portray her as uh, clad in uh, beautiful gowns, finely embroidered with gold and um, precious stones. She devoted her life to her people and to her country, and despite the many uh, marriage proposals that she received, as long as with the many counselors encouraging her to marry in order to leave uh, uh, England with a legitimate heir at her death, uh, she refused all the uh, marriage proposals claiming that she was married to the Kingdom of England. Um, the underlying political reason for this choice, though, is uh, um, more prosaic and it, mm, it underlines the fact that uh, in her uh, efforts to avoid conflicts with other important European countries, she did not want to accept one monarch, thus displeasing another and creating contrast um, with one of the other countries. Eventually, though, uh, war with Spain was inevitable and uh, England was attacked uh, by Spain, probably because Philip II of Spain, who had uh, insistently tried to convince Elizabeth to marry him, as he had been married with Mary the with Mary the first, um, was probably resentful, um, and thus uh, tried to uh, get his revenge by attacking by attacking England. Surprisingly enough, though, um, England was successful in defeating the Spanish invincible armada. The, reason of the, the reasons of this success um, are uh, various. Uh, in the first place, um, we must remember that uh, uh, there was uh, um, a miscalculation on the part of the Spanish um, in the approach to the uh, English coastline. In the second place, the English ship's design proved to be superior to that of the Spanish ships. And thirdly, probably though the most important of all the factors together was the fact that um, during the attack, the Spanish fleet was surprised by a very violent storm, which uh, um, virtually destroyed all, uh, all the ships. In any case, it severely damaged the Spanish uh, fleet. Needless to say that this um, unexpected success, because as we have said, Spain was a much stronger, much powerful country compared to England, increased the already uh, great popularity that uh, uh, Elizabeth enjoyed among her people. Another element that uh, contributed in um, increasing uh, Elizabeth's popularity in her in her time was the fact that uh, she was successful in finally uh, putting an end to the uh, to the conflict that had uh, uh, disrupted English life right after Richard VIII's schism from the uh, Catholic Church. Um, in 1559, she signed the Acts of Supremacy and Uniformity. 
this document had a double positive effect. On the one hand, the fact that she uh, proclaimed herself supreme governor of the church and, unlike her father, not the supreme head of the church, um, kept in check both contenders' extremes. Uh, secondly, um, the Book of Common Prayers that uh, she, uh, she approved of satisfied the interpretation of both the moderate Catholics and the moderate Protestants as well. Um, in addition, and probably the most important element that uh, um, contributed to her success was the fact that um, since her reign lasted for 45 years, the people had enough time to accept um, the change that had been implemented with uh, um, the schism and um, stop questioning uh, the turn of events that at that point were considered to be definite. As far as her economic policies are concerned, historians still debate whether or not uh, her policies were successful. Um, However, it is a fact that uh, during her reign, the monarchy was in constant need of funds and that despite the fact that she um, uh, tried everything in her, in her power to avoid spending recklessly. Uh, we must also consider that at the beginning of her reign, she was very young and lacked the necessary knowledge and the, uh, the necessary self-confidence to implement positive economic policies. In time, though, she did acquire the uh, necessary expertise and the necessary skills to negotiate with her counselors um, her political uh, choices. Uh, it is, however, uh, a fact that uh, she encouraged expansion in commerce overseas in favoring uh, England's development in uh, commercial and, uh, and making it uh, become a seafaring power, also increasing merchants' and towns' wealth. Um, she also invested in explorations of the lands of the far, uh, the far off New World. Uh, and we must also remember that uh, secretly she sponsored the pirates' uh, raids uh, of Spanish ships, benefiting economically from these, uh, um, from these uh, uh, raids. Um, one last thing that we must underline is the fact that during her time, corruption and nepotism was widespread uh, at her court and conspiracy was quite common. As a matter of fact, her life was, almost, was always in danger and she uh, was threatened of death several times. Um, as said uh, at the beginning of the video, uh, she never married. Therefore, when she died in 1603, uh, she left England without an heir and also de determined the end of the Tudor dynasty.